Singing is just like pure joy for me. If I could just sing and raise my family on just singing, that's probably what I would have done. But then I wouldn't have discovered theater and I wouldn't have been making brittle. So this is how it's supposed to be. When I'm on stage and singing, I'm somebody else. And when I'm here, I'm like totally me, selling my brittle and both of them I get to interact with people. When I get to be myself like completely and when I get to pretend to be somebody else, which is fun too. Everything feels like a choreographed dance. It's like stirring. Things just keep kind of coming around. You start a place where you have no idea that that's where you're going to end up. It's like awesome. This has been just like an awesome journey. And it's like totally not over. Give me something I love to eat. Give me one of my favorite treats. Whether it's a lot or a little, mmm, Thomasina's cashew brittle. <laughs> I bake a ton of stuff um, for the holidays. I would bake like cookies and brownies and I used to send them around and I added brittle. It was good. I mean, people really liked it. And then a couple years later, I revisited the idea. I started kind of researching other techniques of brittle, and I made brittle again for the holidays. And the brittle that I made that time, people were like, what? I started getting like calls like, no, you don't understand. I want some of the brittle. I will send you the money to buy whatever you need to buy to make me some brittle. And that, that first moment of, I'm gonna make a little bit of money. And then it was like, oh, wait a minute. That person ordered 15 tins. So I had like one moment of pure sheer joy and then another moment of absolute horror. <laughs> I realized, oh my God, I have to make all this brittle. I've been stirring, tired, crying, singing, and thinking about quitting. <laughs> I mean, we've all been in those crazy moments, like, why am I still here? That's the part of the business that I did not expect. But that tenacity, that feeling of get your butt up, just start, just move something. Hi, how are you? I don't know, there's something about this spirit of entrepreneurship that's, it's just unrelenting. Like, I'm always thinking of new ideas or, I don't think I could work for anybody else. I mean, honestly, they'd probably say, you gotta stop singing. Because I still get to sing, and now I have all this theater knowledge that I do use in selling brittle and like being able to sit in front of a camera without being terrified. Those things, it has helped me a lot in how I interact with people. We finally got into the state fair. Oh my gosh, it was like a huge milestone, right? It's, it's just been really cool. I love, I love that it makes people happy. And um, I don't know why I'm gonna get emotional right now, but one of the things I didn't expect is people talk about their family. When they've never tasted it before, they meet us, they go, you know, my mom used to make brittle, or my dad. And it is so awesome to see, I mean, does the brittle do that? Being a performer, I'm in a state of pure joy and I'm giving even a little bit of that to people and I see them receiving it. There's something about seeing people enjoy what I do that is wholly fulfilling for me. I guess we're all seeking joy, right? Yeah, and trying to do something or at least give a little joy to other people. I think that kind of feels like the mission, the life mission. <laughs> joy and sugar and butter. Joy, sugar, butter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs>